Welcome back to my series where I'm breaking down the top five offseason moves from each NFL team. In part seven, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. At five for the Eagles, I have Devin White from the Buccaneers. Devin White was great for the first part of his career, but this past season he was really, really bad. He requested a trade, no one wanted him, he had a bad season, and now he signs on a super cheap deal with the Eagles. I'm a big fan of getting guys who are once good on super cheap deals, and this is what the Eagles do here with White. They could use a coverage linebacker to help out that secondary, and I think he can do just that if he can just have a decent productive season. At four, I have C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Johnson was with the Eagles just a couple years ago, but he spent one year with the Lions this year and he tore his pack and missed most of the season. When he played, he was not phenomenal. He struggled in coverage, and he even struggled to tackle a bit, which is usually not his weakness. But he was good when he was on the Eagles, and maybe he can bounce back and get where he was when they made the Super Bowl. At three, I have cornerback Cooper DeJean from Iowa. DeJean's just an electric player. They got him in the second round. A lot of people had him going into the first round. He's super fast. He could play anywhere on the field and he even returns punts, or did in Iowa at least. At two, I have Saquon Barkley. Now, this is probably the flashiest get of the offseason for the Eagles. They have a top three to five O-line in the league. They don't have one anymore now that they don't have Jason Kelsey. But this will easily be the best O-line that Saquon has ever had, and I expect him to be a top five back very easily next year. It's hard to imagine how this doesn't work out for both sides. But at number one, I have Quinion Mitchell. Most people view him and Terion Arnold as the best two corners to come out of this draft, and both those guys were projected to go top 12, and both of those guys end up going in the mid-20s to the Eagles and the Lions. He has great size, he can play anywhere on the field, and the Eagles did a great job of boosting up the secondary. This whole Eagles secondary was the worst part of their team last year and the main reason why they had a full-on collapse. And they take this offseason to completely cover it, get two corners with their top two picks, get C.J. Gardner-Johnson back, and if they can get the secondary to nearly what it was when they went to the Super Bowl, they're going to be a very, very good team. Overall, I think the Eagles had a fantastic offseason, and comment which team I should do next.